Hello everyone, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. Today we're gonna show you how to install MySQL on your Ubuntu 20.04. Alright, so first of all, you're gonna open up your terminal. Now we're gonna basically update our repository as we always do. It is gonna ask us for the password. So we're gonna put in our password. We're gonna hit enter and it is basically going to update our repository. All right, so once you have updated your repository, now you can upgrade it. All right, so you would write here sudo apt and then you would write here upgrade instead of update. Hit enter and now it would ask you, do you wanna upgrade, continue, press Y, hit enter. And it would basically upgrade your repository. So once your repository has been upgraded, after that we could basically install MySQL. So we'll wait. All right, so once basically you have upgraded the repository, now what you're gonna do is that you're going to install MySQL. So now in order to install MySQL server, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna write here sudo apt install MySQL hyphen server, okay? So once you do that, hit enter, and now you can see that it is going to install MySQL. It's gonna take 245 megabytes of additional disk space. So it asks, do you wanna continue? So we'll press Y and we hit enter. So now you can see uh, that it would basically download the MySQL packages first and then it would install them. So we'll wait. All right, so now you can see that we have installed MySQL server successfully. So if you want to check, you could write here MySQL and then you could write here version, hit enter and you can see that we have my, MySQL version 8.10.20 installed. All right, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to set the password. So um, if you want to go with the root password, you can also go. But if you want to uh, set your password yourself, you could also do that. So how would we do that? We just clear it. Here we would write here sudo. Then we'll write here MySQLs uh, underscore. Then we'll write here secure underscore. Then we'll write here installation. Okay. Hit enter and you can see that it's saying securing the MySQL server deployment. Connecting to MySQL using a blank password. So press Y for yes. Any other key for no. Okay. So it is asking would you like to set up validate password component. So I'll press Y. And it was it would say that there are three levels of password validation policy. So if the password length is less than eight or equal to eight, it's slow. If that is greater than eight, then it's uh, medium. If it is uh, you know greater than or equal to eight, which is mixed with numeric mixed case, special characters, dictionary, then it is strong. Okay. So in the case of medium, the length and the numeric mixed case and the special characters, all right? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna enter zero. We wanna select a low range of password. So we're gonna just type in here our password. It's, it is asking us to re-enter our password. So we did, it says estimated strength of the password zero. Do you wish to continue with the password provided? So if you wanna continue, press Y. If you don't wanna continue, press N and then you can basically uh, rewrite your password. So we press Y, it says remove anonymous users. Yes, we want to remove. This allow root login remotely. For now, I would press Y, but in future, if you wanna use this uh, remote login option, uh, then you can basically come here again, sudo mysql secure installation, and from here you can turn that option on, all right? So I press Y, it says remove database and access to it. Um, yes. And now reload privilege tables now. Yes. So you can see that it's all done now. All right. So we have installed the MySQL and now we have also changed the password and we have done the settings that we wanted to. All right. So let's just clear it. And now let's go to MySQL console. So for that, we'll just write here sudo MySQL hyphen U. And then we're gonna write here root. We hit enter and now you can see that we have entered the MySQL console. This is the MySQL interface and now what you're gonna do, 
is that let's say that we want we write here show databases all right we put a semicolon here hit enter you can see that we have four uh, databases information schema mysql performance schema and sys so let's say that we want to create another database a new database here so how do we do that so for that we just write here create database and let's name it linux end all right and semicolon we hit enter you can see that it says query okay one row affected which means that one database have been created and added so in order to see that if our new database have been added successfully or not we'll just write here show databases put a semicolon hit enter and you can see that after information schema previously we had mysql but now after information schema we have linux in database that has been added successfully all right so that's how you install mysql that's how you do the secure installation that's how you log into mysql interface and that's how you basically show the database that's how you create a database and that's how you show the database again and finally if you want to quit the mysql interface you write here quit all right so i hope you have got the point you have learned something new in this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends for written articles you can always visit our website linuxin.com thank you so much for watching